consider. Okay. Hi, folks. This is Karen Trepti with Guy Gene Works Coaching, just experimenting with a new form of tech, which you guys know is not my zone of genius. So we got it working, and we'll get right to it. I'm a productivity coach and so excited to introduce you to a new business partner of mine. Her name is Olive Bahashti. I know you're just going to adore her the way I do. She even comes from the royal family of Afghanistan. And she's going to treat us all today with a little bit about herself and her business. So welcome, Olive. So glad to have you here. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. This is my first time here, so I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, so my name is Olive, and uh, I have my own TV show. It's called Tea Time with Olive. And um, I met Karen just because I came to visit her daughter. And uh, that's the beauty of our business. We get to meet so many people that I wasn't, I wasn't totally not aware that how successful Karen is herself, you know, so we connected. It seemed like as of growing up, we've been through the same things in life. And to me, it's so interesting that we're all women and we go through so much in different parts of the world, but somehow we're connected. If we just sit down and talk about stuff, you know, we all been through some tough times. So I'm just so glad that I'm connected with Karen and we're business partners. Yes. <laughs> Olive. So can you tell us a little bit um, about our business then, about your business and maybe sure. how you got started and focus on you? Sure. sure. So about 15 years ago, I got interested in learning more about where the money comes, the sources of money. Is. Um, now, I grew up in a very, very wealthy family, and um, money wasn't an issue for me. But then the fact that money gives you options to help others, and for me, woman empowerment was very important because there was a lot of millionaire men in the world, but there's not enough millionaire women. And if we have more millionaire women in the world, we, we just, I'm not gonna say we make better choices, but we'll make different choices that will definitely affect the communities a lot better. That's how I see it. So because I am connected with a lot of women, of course I do have some uh, male that are on my team as well, but my main focus was to find where the money comes, where the sources of the money is, because not a lot of women had the opportunity to go to school and get educated, but is there a way from them for them mm -hmm. to get involved in these businesses and also feel good about themselves, help their own family, help their surroundings, help the people that they know, and the same token, make money. I'm not talking about $50 or $100, but actually make 100000 and over if they want to. Of course, everybody has to be coachable and follow the system. If you follow the system, there is a way. So that's how I got involved. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. So when, when did you, can you tell us a little bit about your background? Sure, absolutely. So I, um, I have a very mixed background. <laughs> my grandfather was born in Russia, and my grandmother was born in Kashmir, India. And my, my dad's side came from Persia's side and Afghanistan. So I was a combination of everything. My both parents were uh, travelers. My, my dad grew up in Germany, and he finished in school in Germany. My mom has spent most of her life in Philippines. Somehow they met and they end up in Afghanistan where most of their background was and there where I was born. <laughs> so I was born there with my brothers and my sisters. But then just during the war and the revolution and everything happening in 70s, so I lost my dad. I was very young. So my mom was always a single mom. And unfortunately, she was battling cancer. So all her life, she's battling cancer, 37 years now. But she's a strong woman. She has a strong faith. And another thing about what I do with this company, I'm not going to mention any names because of the compliances. Um, but the company I'm with, I love it because faith 
family, fitness. Those are the thing, three things that I always, I always wanted to follow. So now it's so comfortable what I believe in the company that I work with has the same belief. It just makes it a lot easier. And so, so my background, yeah, so we traveled quite a bit. My mom was a single mom. And even though we lost our dad, we did travel to Iran, European countries, and finally we end up here in the United States. Thanks God, <laughs> everybody's dream. So I tell a lot of women that are from other countries, I'm like, you have the chance, you have the opportunity. You're here, there's a reason that God brought you here. And there's opportunities. And nobody get up one morning and be successful. There's always somebody that helps you, that guides you, that shows you the way. And that's what we do. We basically, we help people and uh, we, sh we show everything from A to Z, step by step. We coach you. And um, Karen is going through that right now and she's awesome. And um, so basically, that's my background. Um, simple, but complicated <laughs> at the same time. So I think those of you who know me or know maybe a little bit about me can see why I love this woman so much. Oh, thank you. Growing up all over the world myself, and I don't talk about it too much, but really a very strong proponent of world peace. I do actually believe it's possible. And from having traveled to the Middle East and Asia and just all different parts of Europe and really, I haven't been to Africa too much, but mm -hmm. did meet people from Africa in the Middle East. We just have a strong thread and I really believe in that we can, we can unite together as women and we can make an impact. And I know a lot of you out in, in my audience here um, are female entrepreneurs. You're extremely successful in what you're doing. And so that's why I coach on time and money. And so here's the money component um, coming into it. And the time is so important for me too. I mean, I love business, now businesses, that I can actually schedule my day around what my priorities are. I'm always teaching the three priorities per day. And with faith, I mean, I meditate, and then with family, the people who've known me for a while have known that my little grandchild was born, and, and so it's such a luxury, I think, in this country to be an entrepreneur. It's such a luxury to be able to take time when we need to for our family. You know, you're taking care of your mom right now. When my mom went through Alzheimer's, I was able to scale way back on my business right. and just pay attention to my, right. my family. And same thing when my granddaughter was born. So right. I just think those are benefits. So let's talk a little bit about the people we serve. Like, let, let, I want to hear you tell us, like family A and family B, can you tell us? Right, absolutely. So basically what we do, our job is that in general, this is my own philosophy, it has nothing to do with the company. In general, you know, I, I do, you know, on my own shows, I, I hang out with a lot of middle class, low class, high class. I hang out with different, different groups of people. And what I see, the average people's mind is controlled with eight hours a day kind of work and 401k. Now we don't, a lot of us don't know that 401ks is not bad, but it was a really good product for, uh, for 80s and 90s, just like our phones. The phones that first came, those flip ones, we're not using the same phones. We upgrade our phones all the time. And the thing is that we forget to upgrade our portfolio, our own portfolio, our futures uh, basically uh, uh, attached to those portfolios. Our future is without those portfolios, our future could be in danger, our retirement could be in danger. And I see a lot of elderly that they're in Walmart or 
or hospitals they're working and they look like they're past 70 years old why why this happens it's because people run out of money they don't have enough information that you know 401k is awesome but let's say you end up getting a uh, half a million when you retire but you lose a big chunk of it to tax let's say you're left with 300,000 can you retire with 300,000 let's say even to be conservative you're going to use at least 40,000 a year so let's say you live past 95 you know and nowadays people take care of themselves really good 70s are not old so now now you're in your 90s and you run out of money now what what are you going to do? That's when you need your money the most. And basically what we do, we transfer family A to family B. Family A doesn't have financial advisor. Our job is to, we're responsible to educate. Each family needs to have their own financial advisor, basically. You know, when you have one person in your family, then it'll guide you help everybody. Because our, our uh, company, module is that no family left behind if you have fifty dollars we help you if you have millions we help you so to us it doesn't matter it's the education we give you it's a, that's what you need because family a literally make hundred thousand or less family b makes over two hundred fifty thousand family a rents a home or has a 30-year mortgage loan Family B doesn't have those issues. Family A doesn't have a financial educator or advisor. Family B does. Family A has term life insurance. Family B has permanent insurance or they index their money. They lock the gains. Family A doesn't have any idea or can't take any advantages from the tax write-offs, but family B has all those advantages to take write-offs. So there's, there's, uh, there's a lot to what we do in helping families. And basically, we're not selling anything. We're literally educating people on what's out there. But now the companies that we connect you with, if those companies pay us, hey, right that's how we get paid the companies pays us we don't get paid from your part now 15 years i was connected with so many different insurance companies again i'm not going to mention names but what happened we presented their company to the people like we would say that um, like if you have a verizon for example if you have a verizon carrier for your phone you go to verizon store Verizon is not going to tell you across the street there's a T-Mobile has a better deal. They're not going to do that, right? They're going to push your product. That was the, the life I was living. What I love about here, it's like we're representing over 300 companies that we're going to see what works for your budget. We work with you that what benefit the most. So we don't have to push that. You know what? I work with this company. It has the best product. You have to get this one. This is the one. No, because every family's lifestyle is different. Their budget is different. So we can't push, you know, different products to different people because that's not what their needs are. And that's the number one thing, uh, what I love about what we do. So we tell families, keep doing what you're doing. You know, we're not going to change your lifestyle. All we're doing, helping you. If you want somebody in your family, if it's not for you, I'm sure you have somebody in your family that could do this. And the money's out there, the money's big. I mean, me per personally, myself, I talk to Karen about it. I've done, I've done makeup, I used to sell makeup. I've done Mary Kay, I've done Avon, I've done candles, <laughs> I've done energy juice, I've done crystal lighthouse, you name it. Those business was really good to brought me here. Now, if you've done little businesses like that, now you're at the point of your life that you need to upgrade. You need, you did all those little things. Now you need to upgrade and you need to, we're getting older. We don't have any more time to make little commissions, 50, dollars $100 here and there. We need bigger chunks. I'm sorry, I hate to say it, but we, we're just getting old. You know? We don't have that time to sit around, and sell makeup and get, you know, little commissions here and there. So bottom line, um, this is what we do. We help people. We educate people and we don't get a chunk of, you know, when I work with the other companies, I get used to get a percentage from them. So if you have agents, nothing's wrong with them, nothing personal. They're making a lot of money off of you, basically. So why don't you 
take control of it yourself, that 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 100,000 that they're getting paid a year because insurance companies pays you to about 12 months upfront. If they're making the money off of you, why don't you want that money to go to your pocket? Here you're selling makeup or a body wrap or vitamins or candles for little hundreds, but you're paying your your agents, you know, thousands of dollars that could go to your own pocket. So, but you know, here's the thing: you gotta, you gotta be smart. You gotta be smart. You gotta see that. I always see that if this person come in my way, uh, again, faith is number one thing. If somebody comes my way, I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna give it an opportunity. Maybe I heard it eleven times before but I've never heard it from Karen. I'm going to say, Karen, you know what? Maybe this means something. Same business comes back on my way again. I'm going to give it a chance. I never heard it from you. You tell me. Maybe I didn't understand it before because everything is with timing. Maybe when you heard it before, it wasn't the right time, right? Maybe Maybe now you understand it, and everybody explains it different. Me myself, I I run into this company eleven times, twelve times, yeah. number twelve times. So when this person sits with me, and this is the chair of the company, he sits with me, and I'm telling to myself that I'm gonna listen to this man. One, he's the youngest millionaire of Silicon Valley. Second, I'm telling myself, I'm going to say that I'm just like a four-year-old. I'm going to think that I don't know anything. Put all the negative thoughts away from my head, and I'm going to listen from zero to see what do I get out of it. And you know what? It, it got me. I, I got it. It answered all my questions. And, you know, maybe everybody has different way of different style of explaining. I finally got it. And I said, what am I doing? All these products, it's like you walk into Costco. Why does people go buy shopping at Costco? One, for the small amount of money, they get chunk. It's the same thing here. If you have life insurance as other places, it doesn't come with living benefit. It doesn't have with cash value. It doesn't have with accumulation because this is a compound interest. Your money doubles every six years. And one product, you could use it for retirement, you could use it for living benefit, you could use it for long-term care, you could pay off your mortgage. If your kids or grandkids have college, you could pay off their college. It comes, it's like one of those Swiss knives, you know, every side you open it has something. So why not get one thing instead of um, yesterday, we met with the director, one of the directors of Art Station. She goes, nobody ever told me any of this. How come nobody tells me this? And my husband works in the bank. He's a manager. <laughs> I said, you know, a lot of these things we learn in our financial firm because it's not taught in schools, right? It's something that only you learn in the financial world. And that's what we do for free. We teach people. When I sit down with people, I'm like, even if we can't do, we won't do business. Let me tell you something. I'm going to I love to teach you something. And 99.9% .9 of times, I have not had one person walk away from me saying that, no, I wouldn't do this. If they don't do the business, at least they'll take the product. Either, you know, it's the best grandparent gift to buy it for your grandkids if you're a grandparent. It's the best gift to buy it for your nieces and nephews. If you think you're already protected, you're fine, you're happy, you're good, you know what, get something for your grandkids. We have million dollar baby product, that's amazing. The younger the child is, the better it is. So start them with $50. I mean, the more you put in, the more you get out because it's a, it's a compounded interest. But, and those are the little details that Karen would work with you. Uh, but uh, whoever is watching the show, um, I'm sure Karen's information is gonna be connected to this link. And then, so you just send her an inbox. She'll set up an appointment. She has her own business partners that she's awesome. They're awesome. All of them are amazing. I love them. Meet with them. What do you got to lose? You, you know, meet for like at least 40 minutes. Give yourself 40 minutes. Meet her on your lunch. It, trust me, it's worth it. It's worth it.
So a couple things about that, Olive. Thank you for explaining all that, and we'll get sure. a little bit more if we want to. But I mean, I was so surprised meeting with you. Let's go back to the iPhone analogy. Mm -hmm. I consider myself okay without sounding arrogant kind of a smart cookie like i have my mba i have another master's degree after my mba i went to the college of financial planning for several years my father opened merrill lynch in tokyo japan so i mean i have this stuff in my blood right i mean i grew up as a little girl with this is how you budget this is what you do Money, unlike some families, was a topic that we did talk about. Right. Um, I, I learned so much from you. Like, I really discovered that, oh, my gosh, I am still on, like, you know, the iPhone 3 or something. Maybe I'm not <laughs> on the iPhone 1, but I'm on the <laughs> iPhone 3. Like, you showed me things that I had never heard about. And so I'm very passionate about educating people too. Like right. imagine like a couple of master's degrees and in the field of college of financial planning and never hearing about this. Right. Why? Because these are the products that the wealthy use to grow their money. Right. Why not for me too? <laughs> and for, right. you know, my friends. Right. So uh, well, the thing is that the, uh, the system preferably would like to keep average average because if the average gets wealthy, where's the wealthy gonna go? Mm. There's, they're not gonna get wealthy. You know, we're not gonna mention any names, but we know that's how the system wants to keep it. Right. That's why this information's not taught in schools. Right. You know, that's why it's kept out of the schools. Uh, everything is business. Everything is making money. Yeah. The only thing is that average stays average average never gets up there we're so excited for the two weeks vacation that we're gonna get from work we get so excited for the 50 cents or a dollar raise that we're gonna get we get excited about little things but then we spend three hours two hours in traffic back and forth we're sitting in traffic we don't we don't spend enough time with our kids Mothers uh, have their kids in daycares. Other people raise their kids more than they do. And then they wonder about all the corruption in the world. Well, these children were not raised by their parents. What happened to the average family that was a mom and it was a dad, or even if it's a two different families, they live separate, but at least they're with their parents most of the time. My first major was child development. So I know more about the <laughs> child development more than anything. So, um, so this business really gives you the opportunity to spend a lot of time with your family and live a good life. And yeah, they take care of us really well. They send us in a lot of vacations. You know, we have a lot of good vacations that they send us. They give us, a, they treat us well, let's say that. Yeah. So interesting to learn about so many parallels with you all over the Right, life. absolutely. Like I... I actually went for my master's from my MBA way back when I was in my early, I don't even remember now, 20 years. <laughs> family's been such a huge priority for me that I, I literally, well, I went through about a year and a half of my master's program and then I dropped out because the dean of the college had told me in the beginning, he's like, you know, this might not be the right time for you. So, I do have a lot of entrepreneur in my blood. So even way back in the day, I dropped out of that formal program. I kept dropping out of corporate and I had my own daycare for 10 years. You know, why did I do that? I did that because I missed my children horribly. And so I was like a surrogate mom for a lot of these other babies. And honestly, some of it was pretty sad because well, of course, when the child first came to me, they would cry when the mother would leave. But right. after a while, guess what? The babies would even cry when they left me. Because they so, got attached to you. Yeah, they were attached to me. So mm -hmm. this one baby in particular, I won't mention her name, but I remember her. I was just like, my heart was really mm -hmm. hugged. Like, oh my gosh, you know, her parents are working so hard. And of mm -hmm. course, they're doing it so that she can have a better life. 
Of course. Take your negativity up. Of, of course. But if you have choices, if there are choices that you could, and that's what I reach out to a lot of schools, I reach out to um, a lot of um, daycares, and I pass out uh, our information that, you know, this is what we do. You do have a choice to, uh, to work from home if you want to, and this is the need. Well, look around you, everybody around you, everybody in your phone and your phone contact. I called somebody yesterday. I said, you know what? There's a reason your number's on my phone for me to, and she goes, why? I said, so for me to call you. She goes, she goes, I suppose. I said, so can we meet for coffee? And she goes, what this might be about. I said, well, I have your number on my phone. There has to be a reason. So let's sit down and talk about it. <laughs> so I, um, I met with her this morning, early this morning, and it went super well. She goes, thank you so much for, for just calling me. And I had her number in my phone for years, and I never called her. And we, we met supposedly six years ago. Mm -hmm. And I had, so I go through my contact, and sometimes I just call people. And there's people that needs our services, needs our help. We just, they just waiting for us to call them and contact them and meet with them and show them the information. That's what I love about what we do. And I'm so passionate just because we help them. We open a door for them that they never thought of or dreamed of. And then that opportunity that they could, you know, it gives you, it gives you a lot of high confidence because I hate to say it, but in general, when you're married, most of the time, the men are the one that brings most of the money, not the man, the woman. So now suddenly the woman's bringing more money than the man. So it, it, it brings husband and wife closer, you know, and a lot of couples do it as a hobby together because, you know, doing something as a part time doing it together it's just fun for them because sometimes the offices are a little farther than where you live so some people like to do it as a couple as a hobby and of course taking advantage of all these trips and vacations I know Karen is going to go to dinner cruise soon <laughs> because she already had her um, I think she was she had your two and two but you went to three and three I see so you probably got a little more than I thought. And you have a couple of surprises this week as well in the office. Yeah, you, you're getting awarded for all the wonderful work that you've done. So I'm excited for you. Well, it's really, it's really a passion of mine. It just, I wanted to be a financial planner so badly, like right out of my master's degrees. And when I finished the College of Financial Planning and I was hired, you know, I was offered a job. I wasn't hired, but I was offered a job with the firm. Mm -hmm. But then I got so disappointed because it was like what you're describing with Verizon. They're like, okay, mm -hmm. you know, here's the job. We like your background. We really want to have you and come with us and sell our products. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking in my head, like, oh my gosh, but what if, what if those products don't fit the person, don't fit the client? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not my cup of tea. That's not what I want. So yeah. I ended up not taking the job, and my mom started having Alzheimer's, so I never pursued my national um, certification for certified financial planner. But, I mean, that was the heart behind it. That was what my objective was, was to go out, sure, and make money. We all need to make money. I love money. Right. So, but to mm -hmm. really help people and understand more about their money and be able to optimize it for themselves. So when you showed me this company, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not stuck in this little box. Besides, that other company wanted me to come to their cubicle at like 7 in the morning. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not. I was like, no, not happening. No, no, no. It's not happening. And they want me to stay till 6 at night and make these little cold calls. Right, right, right. Like, no, 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 this no. is not my thing. No. Like, for me to be able to represent all these, you know, to offer my services for free, 
Mm -hmm. It's actually been sort of my Achilles heel with all my businesses. I'm always trying to help people and give them things. And mm -hmm. I get to do that. I get to offer mm -hmm. for free. And if something's right for them, the company then reimburses me. But I have this wide range of like 300 companies that I can work with knowing I am not stuck. And that's, right. that's right. what I just Yeah, said. that's so true. It's, uh, so, and, and you, you know, I only met you once in the office, right? And yeah. we're going to see you again tonight. Yes. But this whole time, Karen's been working from home. She's, <laughs> yeah. you know, she probably got as much as education as a full year going to school and studying, just doing it on her own time at home. And luckily, things are going good for her. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to see you tonight. I'm excited to see you tonight. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so you, again, if you want to learn more about what we do, contact, contact Karen mm -hmm. and she will help you and guide you step by step how it's done. We don't really rush people. We really educate you at your pace. You know, of course, some people want to learn it faster and they need the money, whatever your needs are. So we'll go by your needs, by your time, but we'll, we'll, we'll help you succeed in this business. Basically, you're not alone that, okay, you join now, you have to do this. No, we'll have partner for you. We'll have partnership until you build yourself to where you're supposed to be. And then you could, you know, run the business on your own. Yeah. I mean, I love that even with, um, I admit, I mean, I'm shy. I'm a bit of an introvert. I can be on the extrovert line too. But when Olive told me, she said, look, we'll take your hand. We'll teach you A to Z. Mm -hmm. You can do it at your own pace. And the other part I really want to tell you about too is like, these are huge companies. You will recognize these names. These are huge. And plus I'm licensed by the state of California. Right. So this is not some, you know, fly by night thing. Um, if you really want to get into, you've got to get licensed. You've got to study. I'm studying very, very hard. So it's, it's all very legitimate. Yeah. One to all of today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, this was great. It was wonderful. Okay. Yeah. All, right. all right. So until the next time, Karen Trepti, Guiding Works, coaching your productivity coach. And we'll see you again next time. Sending you time mm -hmm. for light and love. Thank you, Karen. Now let's see. We'll figure out the...